Welcome to your Algebra 1 review. This session will prepare you for Algebra 2 by going over key concepts and challenging problems. Pause after each question to try it on your own before I show you the solution. Let's get started. Problem 1. Solve for x. 2 times x minus 7 equals 13. Add 7 to both sides. Positive 7 and negative 7 cancel. 2x equals 20. Divide both sides by 2. The solution is x equals 10. Problem 2. Solve for x. 3x over 4 plus 2 equals 5. Subtract 2 from both sides. Positive 2 and negative 2 cancel. 3x over 4 equals 3. Multiply both sides by 4. The 4s cancel on the left side, leaving 3x equals 12. Then divide both sides by 3. The solution is x equals 4. Problem 3. Solve for x. 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 8. Subtract 5 from both sides. Positive 5 and negative 5 cancel. Negative x is greater than or equal to 3. Multiply both sides by negative 1 and flip the inequality sign. The solution is x is less than or equal to negative 3. Problem 4. Solve and graph. x minus 6 is less than or equal to 4. Add 6 to both sides. x is less than or equal to 10. On a number line, put a closed circle at 10 and draw an arrow to the left. Problem 5. Solve for x. 4 times the quantity x minus 2 plus 3 equals 2x plus 9. Distribute to get 4x minus 8 plus 3 equals 2x plus 9. Combine the constants on the left side. 4x minus 5 equals 2x plus 9. Subtract 2x from both sides. We have 2x minus 5 equals 9. Add 5 to both sides. 2x equals 14. Divide both sides by 2. The solution is x equals 7. Problem 6. Identify the slope and y-intercept of the equation y equals negative 2x plus 5. The equation of a line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. According to the equation, the slope is negative 2, the y-intercept is 5. Problem 7. Graph the equation y equals 1 half x minus 1. First, identify the slope, which is 1 half. The y-intercept is negative 1. Start at negative 1 on the y-axis. Using the slope 1 over 2 from the y-intercept, go up 1 unit and write 2 units. This is the second point. Now draw a line connecting these two points. Problem 8. Write the equation of a line with slope 3 and y-intercept negative 4. Using the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we can say the equation is y equals 3x minus 4. Problem 9. If f of x equals 2x minus 7, find f of 3. Substitute 3 for x. 2 times 3 minus 7 equals negative 1. f of 3 is negative 1. Problem 10. Is the relation a function? Yes. Each input has exactly one output. Problem 11. If f of x equals 2x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared, find f of g of 3. First, g of 3 equals 3 squared, which is 9. Then f of 9 is 2 times 9 plus 1, which equals 19. f of g of 3 is 19. Problem 12. Solve by substitution. y equals 2x plus 1 and x plus y equals 10. Substitute 2x plus 1 for y in the second equation x plus 2x plus 1 equals 10. 3x plus 1 equals 10. Subtract 1 from both sides. 3x equals 9. Divide by 3, x equals 3.
substitute x into the first equation, y equals 2 times 3 plus 1, y equals 6 plus 1, which is 7. The solution to the system is 3 comma 7. Problem 13. Solve by elimination. 3x plus 2y equals 12 and 2x minus 2y equals 4. Add the equations to get 5x equals 16. Divide by 5 to get x equals 16 over 5 or 3.2. Substitute into the first equation to find y. 3 times 3.2 plus 2y equals 12. 9.6 plus 2y equals 12. Subtract 9.6 from both sides. 2y equals 2.4. Divide both sides by 2. y equals 1.2. The solution is 3.2 comma 1.2. Problem 14. Looking at the graph, we see these two lines intersect at 3 comma negative 2. The solution is 3 comma negative 2. Problem 15. Factor x squared minus 9. This is a difference of squares. We know x times x is x squared. Therefore, we put an x in the first set of parentheses and the second x in the second set of parentheses. Now we ask, which number, when multiplied by itself, gives 9? It is 3. Therefore, we put plus 3 in the first set of parentheses and minus 3 in the second set of parentheses. This gives x plus 3 times x minus 3. Problem 16. Solve x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. We need to ask, which two numbers multiply to positive 6 and add to negative 5? The numbers are negative 3 and negative 2. Therefore, x minus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. Using the zero product property, x minus 3 equals 0, so x equals 3. x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. Problem 17. Solve x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. The formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We know a equals 1, b equals negative 4, and c equals negative 5. We have negative negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5, all over 2 times 1. Now we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 20, all over 2, which gives us 4 plus or minus the square root of 36, all over 2. The square root of 36 is 6, which gives us 4 plus or minus 6, all over 2. The first x will be 4 plus 6 over 2, which is 10 over 2, equal to 5. The second x is 4 minus 6 over 2, equal to negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Factor completely, 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. We know a equals 6, b equals 5, and c equals negative 6. We are going to multiply 6 times negative 6, which gives negative 36. Now we ask ourselves, which two numbers when multiplied give negative 36, and when subtracted, give positive 5? Those numbers are 9 and negative 4. We rewrite the middle term 5x as 9x minus 4x. So we have 6x squared plus 9x plus negative 4x minus 6. Group the first two terms and the last two terms. six x squared plus nine x minus four x plus six. Factor each group. From the first group, factor out three x, giving three x times two x plus three. From the second group, factor out negative two, giving negative two times two x plus three. Now factor out the common factor, two x plus three. We get three x minus two times two x plus three. 
the factorization is 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 3. Solve absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 7. We write the two cases. Case 1, 2x minus 3 equals 7. Case 2, 2x minus 3 equals negative 7. Let's solve case 1. Add 3 to both sides. 2x equals 10. Divide both sides by 2, x equals 5. Now solve case 2. Add 3 to both sides. 2x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 2, x equals negative 2. The solution is x equals 5, or x equals negative 2. Solve 4 times absolute value of x minus 2 less than or equal to 8. Divide both sides by 4. 4. The 4 on the left side is cancelled. Now we have absolute value of x minus 2 less than or equal to 2. Now we have negative 2 less than or equal to x minus 2 less than or equal to 2. Add 2 to all sides. zero less than or equal to x less than or equal to four. Draw a number line and mark closed circles at zero and four. Join zero and four with a line segment. If this video helps you, please subscribe to Algebra and Geometry Explained. Your support helps us make more clear step-by-step -step lessons so you can keep improving your math skills.